I want you guys to think of a business owner that you know that works day by day to make money to have an income. Do you think this business owner knows the, knows the exact amount of money that their company is generating? A lot of the times, business owners do not know the exact amount. They may have an idea or a rough estimate, but the exact is unknown. Small business owners, like large inter international corporations, have to deal with this problem. To face the issue, business owners will hire an accountant to manage their financial records. My name is Federico, and today I'll explain to you what an accountant does and what, and what an accountant actually is. I will give you different examples of accounting in the workplace. I will inform you of the skills and education needed for an entry level as, an, as a staff accountant. And finally, I will tell you why accounting is so important to the business administration field. To begin, a staff accountant is the first level in the accounting firm, and like I said, is the entry level job. According to Jobs Today, the website says that a staff accountant will work for a senior accountant in the firm. The senior accountant has many years of experience in, in their work and has, has been in the firm for many, many years. They have to deal with many tasks and jobs throughout the year, so uh, a business owner will hire a staff accountant to, to do the, the financial records for them. The business owner will provide the, the accountant with revenues and expenses. Revenues consist of any money that is coming into the company by transactions with the outside. This is by selling their goods and services to other people. Expenses is anything that the company has to invest in or spend to keep the company running. With the revenues and expenses given by the business owner, the accountant will come up with one of the most simple financial statements an income statement. An income statement shows the revenues and expenses. Expenses are subtracted from revenues to get to net income. Net income is another word for, for the gains of the company. Accountingdegree.org says that a bachelor's degree is, is the minimum that is needed for a job in accounting. With at least 150 credit hours of business courses at a certified university. Skills that are needed for this job are aptitude in mathematics, close attention to detail, effective communication skills, being able to anal analyze large amounts of data, and have very high computer skills. A group called Inside Public Accounting is a group that takes the statistics of the top 100 firms in America. And each year they come out with a list of the top firms. In 2014, Inside Public Accounting listed that Deloitte and Ernst and Young are their top two accounting firms in the country. With Deloitte having gains of $13 billion and Ernst and Young earning $9 billion. Now I want to tell you why accounting is so vital to the business administration field. Business owners rely on accountants for two main reasons. Number one is that business owners at the end of the year need to file taxes to the government and they need the accountant to provide them with exact information of how much money they have made. On the other hand, business owners are always planning ahead into the following year even though it still hasn't come up yet. They want to plan because they need to know how much money they can invest and also how much money they have kept, which is retained earnings. I believe I will be successful in accounting because I have passion for this field and I know that people will rely on my work and I am capable of doing it. There's a lot of risk into accounting because there's very little room for error, but I know I am able to do it. My accounting professor this past year told me that accounting is the language of business because with all the records that are made and passed along to business people all around the world, everybody will understand it and it is the best way to communicate business to business all around the world. Thank you.